Ladies and gentlemen, it's the weekend, <gasps> which means it's time once again for everybody to come aboard and play Wrestling Jeopardy. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. I'm your host, Kevin J. Callis. Yeah. And hopefully you've done pretty well over the first three episodes, but if not, no big deal. That's not how your story ends. As always, here are the not so extreme rules on your screen, and it's as simple as this. Just when you think you got the answers, I give the questions, or something like that. Just let me have this for a second. Anywho, let's go to the board now and check out the five categories you'll be quizzed on in this episode. Starting off, we have AEW debuts. Next up, from a land down under. These are gonna be clues all about the continent of Australia and the wrestlers that come from there. Followed by, let's get political, political. These are gonna be clues all about wrestlers who have tried their hand in politics. Next up is tag team mashups. I'm gonna give you the name of two wrestlers and you're gonna to have to give me their mashed up tag team nickname. And the fifth and final category this episode, which is always our audio category, is themes in reverse. I'm gonna play an entrance theme song twice, you're gonna to listen to it, and then you'll have five seconds to give me the correct answer. And now for the thousands in attendance and the couple hundreds watching at home. Are you ready? Let's jump right into this. All of these clues are gonna be worth 200 points these should be so simple that even a caveman can get them right. Not cool. Let's kick it off right now with AEW debuts for 200. After stepping away from the business for seven years, this wrestler made his debut on AEW Rampage, the first dance in his hometown of Chicago, Illinois. The answer here, of course, the one and only CM Punk. All right, let's move on to From a Land Down Under. Born in Southern Australia, this member of the Judgment Day has been eradicating the WWE women's division since 2021. And the correct answer is the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley. Mommy's always on top. All right, let's move on to Let's Get Political for two. This 45th president of the United States is also a WWE Hall of Famer, class of 2013. That of course is the Donald, Donald Trump. It was a terrific time. All right, let's move on to tag team mashups for two, The Miz and The Big Show. And the correct answer, Show Miz. We're awesome! All right, and on to the final clue of the 200 point round. You know who that is. Of course, it's the GOAT. John Cena. Or as Santino Morella likes to call him, John Cena. You know what? You have a big mouth, John Cena. All right, that does it for the 200 point round. I know you went five for five. I know you have a thousand points because you're that damn good. Oh, it's true. Let's go on to the 400 point questions and it brings us back to AEW debuts for four. 2021's All Out pay-per-view concluded with the double debut of these two wrestlers. This was an amazing time, something I haven't seen ever in all my years of watching pro wrestling. When Adam Cole debuted, followed by a few minutes later, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. You know On to From a Land Down Under for 400. Billy Kay and Peyton Royce were better known by this snake name. Uh, 
I'm Ron Burgundy? That's kind of what I sounded like. That doesn't make sense. Well, the answer we're looking for is the Iconics. Are you professional? Did you go to journalism too? Or did you miss that class? Did oh, you miss that she class? That's all happened. No, I know how to ask She's questions. Get class. What's the matter with you? All right, let's head over to Let's Get Political for four. This WWE Hall of Famer stepped out of the fire and into the political world in 2018 when he was elected mayor of Knox County, Tennessee. And the correct answer is Kane. That's gotta be, that's gotta be Kane! Otherwise known as Glenn Jacobs. And we're on to tag team mashups for 400. Edge and Randy Orton. And the correct answer is Rated RKO. All right, finishing off the 400 point round, we're going to themes in reverse. Listen to this theme twice. That is the visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins. Burn it down. All right, 10 down, 15 to go. Let's go back to AEW debuts for 600. At this event in 2020, fans had no idea that Sting would be making his surprise debut. And the answer we're looking for was a special edition of AEW Dynamite that was called Winter is Coming. I can't believe what I'm seeing! Sting is here! By the way, did anybody notice I'm wearing a Four Horsemen shirt because it's episode four? Come on, give me some credit here. Let's move on now. From a land down under for 600. This Australian strongman was originally booked to tag with The Undertaker at WrestleMania 19. However, he was withdrawn from the match amid concerns over his lack of wrestling ability. And the correct answer is Nathan Jones. All right, that brings us to Let's Get Political for 600. This wrestler may be royalty, but that didn't translate in his two bids to become the mayor of Memphis, Tennessee. Man, that's back-to-back -back political questions about the volunteer state of Tennessee. All you do is plow the fields and farm and the farm and the... Uh, is that how you talk to me? The answer we're looking for, who is Jerry the King Lawler? All right, here it comes. Tag team mashups for six. Cody Rhodes and Damian Sandow. And the answer, of course, that we're looking for here is Team Rhodes Scholars. You're welcome. Closing out the 600 point round with themes in reverse. Listen to this. I've always wanted to do that. The answer, Edge. All right, 15 down, 10 to go. We're headed back to AEW debuts for 800. One of AEW's biggest debuts was John Moxley, also known as Dean Ambrose, at Double or Nothing in 2019 when he threw Kenny Omega off of this. And the answer, if you remember this, he basically fireman carried Omega off of a giant poker chip or a, a poker chip set. If you said poker chip, you get the answer right. Congratulations. All right, we're on to From a Land Down Under for 800. This wrestler portrayed an Australian bushman in the mold of Crocodile Dundee to capitalize on the 1986 film's popularity.
coming down the aisle from Melbourne, Australia. And the guy's theme song was Tie Me Kangaroo Down Sports, who is none other than Outback Jack. No worries. All right, we are on to Let's Get Political for 800. One of wrestling's most flamboyant personalities, Jesse the Body Ventura became the governor of this northern U.S. state. And the answer we're looking for, Minnesota. Now Jesse the Body Ventura knocks off two major party opponents to become governor of Minnesota. All right, here comes tag team mashups for 800, the acclaimed and Bullet Club Gold. This is a relatively new tag team mashup name, but if you think about it, it's the Bang Bang Scissor Gang. Guns up. On to the final clue of the 800 point round. Themes in reverse. Listen to this. The correct answer, Kevin Owens theme song. All right, that's 20 questions down, five more to go, plus Final Jeopardy, which actually would mean that there's six more questions to go. But now is the time. The steel cage begins to lower. The toughest round of this episode. Five 1,000 point questions. Strap on your thinking caps and let's test your wrestling trivia knowledge. Starting off with AEW debuts for 1,000. The live crowd in this New Jersey city basked in the glory of Keith Lee's debut in 2022. And the answer we're looking for, what is Atlantic City? All right, we're closing out from a land down under for 1,000. During a tour of Australia in 1930, wrestler Abe Coleman learned a version of this move after watching Kangaroo's fight. The answer we're looking for, what is the drop kick? However, would have also accepted the Kangaroo kick. You just look at these creatures, man. They're so majestic. The way that they strike sends chills down my spine. All right, here we go. Let's get political. 1,000. This wrestler attempted to gore his way into politics in 2016 by running for the Michigan House of Representatives. The correct answer, Rhino. Gore! 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 On to the final clue of tag team mashups, Kofi Kingston and Evan Bourne. And the answer is Air Boom. All right, and last and certainly not least, here's the 1,000 point question for the category Themes in Reverse. Listen to this. That's the Hardy Boys. Not the Hardy Boys, but the Hardy Boys. Because it's wrestling, you need to end in like a Z. Bruh. All right, you made it through. 25 questions down. Final Jeopardy to go. How'd you do? Good, bad, ugly. Well, like I always say, all you have to do is boom! Now are you ready to bet it all? Let's find out this episode's Final Jeopardy category. WrestleMania locations. There have been over 40 locations that have hosted the granddaddy of them all. Think about that for a second. Now it's time to make your wagers. All right, time is up. Let's take a look now at the final clue of episode four. 
WrestleMania has taken place in California more than any other U.S. state. How many times has the state played host to the show of shows? Good luck. WrestleMania has taken place in California more than any other U.S. state. How many times has the state played host to the show of shows? And the correct answer is seven times. Starting off with WrestleMania 2 back in 1986, WrestleMania 7 in 1991, WrestleMania 12 in 1996, WrestleMania 2000 in 2000, WrestleMania 21 in 2005, WrestleMania 31 in 2015, and WrestleMania 39 in 2023. And that'll do it for episode four of Wrestling Jeopardy. Don't forget to leave a comment with your score. And if you like what you saw, please give this video a massive thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I've been your host, Kevin J. Callis. Yeah. And I'll see you next time.